we're gonna. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that he's he's got full range of motion. Uh, now it's just building up strength. You know, back in that back in his arm, back in his forearm. Um, he's doing a lot of other stuff to keep himself ready. Um, so as soon as as soon as we feel like he's he's able to throw, we'll start him on a throwing program. Can you walk us through the roster move with Enos? Yeah, you know, we, we thought we needed another guy in, in the bullpen. Um, so uh, he's going to be with us, and you know, until otherwise noted. But uh, I really felt like we could use another guy uh, in the bullpen to help us out a little bit. And, I mean, we've been, you know, they've been out there quite a bit already. So uh, having another guy in the bullpen definitely helps. How is, how is K-Bear feeling? I know it's got a watch there. How is he feeling after a couple days? Yeah, he's sick. Yeah, he's still sick. So he's going to see a doctor again today and see what's going on. Um, I know I saw him the other day, and uh, it's a flu. So um, he just feels really weak. He's, he's still running a little fever. Uh, so hopefully, you know, in the next couple of days, he'll, he'll get through it. If you had known at that point that he would still be sick, would you have maybe wanted to keep a third catcher here and have Millis? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, but you, you know, he said he's feeling better. And then yesterday he said he started to get sick again. So um, poor kid. I mean, he came down. He was just laying down on the floor in the training room. So um, he's sick. Um, with Senzel, uh, he's going to have a decent number of games under his belt, and you feel like it should be a seamless transition when he's ready to come back up here. Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt. Like I said, he's doing well. He's feeling good. Um, you know, he's he, he's it was all about pain tolerance, and he says he's right now he's doing great. Doesn't feel anything. So, uh, uh, and he's hitting the ball really well down there and playing really well. So, uh, we'll we'll get him up here as soon as possible. I know coming into the year, it was going to be we want him at third base, just kind of keep him there. He does play other positions, though. But does the situation as it's developed since then make you consider playing him around anywhere else, or do you feel like third base is still best for him? No, I want him to play. I want him to play third base. Um, you know, the good news is that you know a, a lot of these guys could do multiple things. So, um, but he's going to play third base for us, and then we'll we'll, we'll see. Uh, like I said, he's still not here. So as soon as we get him here, we'll uh, we'll have some options, which is nice. What's the workload plan for Stone? Yeah, Stone's going to go out there and I want him to play. I mean, he, you know, uh, we started his rehab because he feels good. So now he's going to play nine innings uh, until he deems he can't. You know, so uh, hopefully he goes out there and, he, you know, he can play three, four days in a row. Uh, maybe DH, you know, one in between. Um, but he needs to start playing now and, uh, and getting back in that baseball shape and that baseball routine. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how he feels. With Jake, how would you just assess Jake Irvin's first two outings, and what are you kind of looking to see from him tonight? Right, he's he's been he's been really good. He really has. So you know, I just you know, as we always talk about, is is just compete and uh, consistency. You know, uh, not losing a strike zone. You know, so uh, but he's been throwing the ball really well. We saw those uh, three games in San Francisco. Uh, you guys stole everything. You only needed to steal the glove in the field. They, uh, I, I wonder, is this something? I like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah, I wonder if it's this something that you have been uh, practicing since spring training or something that you uh, plan to continue doing all year or is just the circumstances of the game? No, we, we, we you know, we, we talked about being aggressive, but aggressive smart. Um, take, taking, picking opportunities, taking advantage of it. Uh, we worked on in spring training. We did a lot of different things. Uh, the, you know, for me, stealing bases is the one thing. It's the overall base running, right? Now, um, you know, I always talk to talk to these guys about you don't have to be very fast to be a good base runner. Let's be a good base runner. You know, let's let's go first to third. Let's let's try to score from uh, second base on on a base hit or or score you know from first you know on a ball in the gap all the time. You know, not, not just so. Um, the guys bought in. You know, and and when we get on the bases, it's part of who we are. It's our identity. Um, and we're going to try to push the envelope. You know, we want to be aggressive. David, your, your team last year made an improvement. The A's are trying to start that pendulum back in that direction as well. What do you think your club did better last year that got that going, and what's the next step for your team that you want to see? Yeah, you know, for, for me, everybody looks at the big, the bigger things, you know, the guys that hit home runs, the guys that, you know, for me it's, it's about the little things, about playing team baseball. Um, they started playing a lot better together. You know, they started understanding what what it meant to to uh, get a guy over from second base with less than no outs. You know, trying to drive in a run with just a ground ball. You know, sometimes just moving the baseball. You know, we don't we don't strike out a whole lot. We did last year, um, so we improved on that. The biggest thing is our young kids really improved the second half of the season. I think that was the the big jump. You know, our young pitchers uh, understanding that they have to throw strikes. The walks are going to really hurt us. Um, you know, watching watching uh, C.J. Abrams improve, uh, watching K. Bear improve, uh, those guys really helped us a lot. And you know, I I don't want to disclude uh, 
Lane because to me he's still young. But watching Lane's improvement on right field, you know, I really thought that he could have been an all-star last year, um, and he's played really well. So, you know, combine those those things, and uh, I think that's the biggest reason why we, we were able to do what we did and, and make such a big jump. So, uh, you know, my biggest thing this year in the beginning was to, to get off to a good start, uh, continue to build from what we did last year. We had some pieces, and they bought in, and, and, and they're doing well as well. So uh, I'm excited about, you know, what's going to transpire here. Uh, in the future, you know, we still got so many young kids that are playing in the minor leagues that are going to help us. Maybe some this year, you know, maybe you know next year. But um, we're really excited on, on the direction of our organization. The, like the range, we just the Angels play the Rangers, and they have four of the top twelve guys in sprint speed. So they, you, you can see it analytically. You don't. You've got Lane Thomas statistically. You have Lane Thomas, and you have players. Yeah. To your point, be able be able to to use the running game is based on conviction, is based on being smart and just trusting. Uh, absolutely. You know, we you know, we put a lot of value in the process and um and we, we go over all these things every day. We have we have meetings. You know, I had a meeting today with my coaching staff before the series about how how I feel like we need to attack the Oakland A's, you know, and, and, and we did it with San Francisco. And uh those guys they relay the message. Um it. It's got to be a buy-in, though, from all, everybody. You know, we can't just have one or two guys do it. Everybody's got a buy-in. You know, you talk about the young kid, Jacob Young. You know, I, I tell him all the time, hey, you get on base, you know, and you feel like you can get a jump. If I got to give you a steal sign and you think that you have to go that pitch, you might not get the best jump you possibly get. So I want you to get the best jump you can get, and then when you do that, you go. And uh, he's been awesome. He's been all in. So, um, And there's certain situations where we can't run, you know, whether we're behind or – uh, so, um, but like I said, you know, we're going to push the envelope. You know, I want these guys to be aggressive. Um, we're going to play good defense. You know, three things I would say. We're going to play good defense. We're going to throw, throw the ball, throw strikes, and then uh, we're going to run the bases well. If we could do those three things every day, we got, we got an opportunity to do something special.